Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are looking at all the new mods that's dropped today on the 17th of October 2024. As always, time starts to be down below, and if you go enjoy this mod review, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more daily and weekly FS videos, including FS25 when that comes out next month. But anyways, without further ado, we've got over 20 new and updated mods looking at today. So starting off with, we're looking at the Lizard. 2.7. This is by QZLS or KXUYLS. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Do you apologize? It is 4.63 megabits download, two slots on console, and what this is, it's a 2.7 meter cultivator. So, first of all, you'll find this under tools, under cultivators, go towards the end, and there we go. So, you've got some color options. So, got some older colors as well as the newer colors so you can really get creative with this so that's gonna be your main color and your design color will change the actual spikes in this so with that out of the way let's have a look at it in close in detail so yeah it's a very simple mod three meter cold vader very thing that become very famous here in farm sim and that i'll take his 2.7 meters so it's not a three meter cultivator anyway he's got our little massey here so get us hooked up and yeah, all the options we've got is raise and lower set cultivator. Make sure you see how it lowers and then levels and then rise onto the ground. And yeah, I did forget to go over some of the other details. So it weighs 525 kilograms, working speed of 9 miles an hour, and only of course just 20 horsepower. So you can get away with this with pretty much any tractor available in the game. Now see, as we go through our cornfield here, as I got ready for some of the other mods we're going to be looking at, mainly the new Holland mods. So sure, see, it does a good job. Again, the elves are using a very powerful tractor for this, so yeah, it's got no issues whatsoever. By the day, it's a very simple looking mod. Simple cultivator. No, not much else to say about it, but things like small scale farming, or literally farm with like less than 50 horsepower equipment so things like the Porsche Junior tractors and that so yeah Porsche Junior and that, that is 14 horsepower so maybe not that but the Zeters, the Volvo Krabat and all that other small tractors yeah no issues whatsoever but anyways that is the Lizard 2.7 by KXUYLS next now for the Dalbo Multiflex this is by Mikio Peak Co or Pew Co it is 17.68 megawatts of download. Slot count is 9 goes down to 2. And what this is, it's an actual 3 meter cultivator, but by D the Dolbo brand. So, once again, under cultivators, go towards the end. There you go, you'll see it just here. So, 3 or 5 grand requires 120 horsepower, weighs 2.9 tons, and a working speed of 9 miles an hour. And as I mentioned, 9 slots goes down to 1. No color or other configuration options, so we'll get rid of that. I'll hop into our Massey and we get hooked up and we'll see how it performs, especially compared to the 2.7 meter one we just looked at a second ago. So, there we go, get ourselves lined up. So, yeah, once again, also, yeah, we do have options to raise and to lower. It says the front loader at all, but that's just the controls and that, so I can actually drop this bit here on the back, so I guess that's what brings the multi flex. So you've got your cultivator net, and then it sort of rolls it, cultivates, and then rolls it again. Also, you do have a three point leakage on the back, so you can, if you want, hook this up to a three meter drill net. Premier drill or another tool of your own choosing. So there we go, we are cultivating. Uh, is there a difference in the ground textures? No, there ain't. What I want to go do now is get a 3 meter drill of sort. So yeah, something like that. And I'll give this a little go. So right there we go. I did swap masses because that one only had 210 horsepower, and this requires 240, so 124 the 
that'll be my multi flex, and then 125 for this drill net. So, you know, to lower the cultivator, then lower the cedar, turn that on, and then if we go along, so see, we are drilling. So, if we keep this aligned. Then we should be able to cultivate and then drill right behind it. There we go, yeah, so yeah, just missed a little bit there where we were aligned in that. So it's not doing the cultivating all the time, so if you're doing this, I guess, on the looks of it, on the sea train, or just any kind of undulating train, then maybe a bit. Be a bit careful now, because sort of see we are drilling that. But yeah, as soon as you start going all wonky, again, we're not having any issues there. It's that first bit there we have some issues with. Now try to go up on the bank here on the side. So yeah, any kind of undulation by the looks of it will throw things off, so fair enough. But overall, at the end of the day, we're not looking at the drill now, just full. Let's go give it a little test now, because it's got a 3 point linkage on the back, so you can't get away with this with doing other things with it, attaching anything that's got a 3 point linkage in that. You sort of see it does have the PTO functionality, even though it doesn't have a direct PTO, weirdly, but anyways, minor detail glossing over there. But anyways, that is the Dalbo Multiflex by Myco Pure Co. Next. Now for a pack of seven mowers, we've got the Lizard OptiCut, this is by Prishmik23433, 28.49 megabits download, as I mentioned, it contains seven items, so all this is, it's a bunch of mowers, so it ranges from 2.1 meters up to 3.2 meters. In terms of slot count, it seems to be a mixture now, like on the mod, on the sort of shopping app. The green ones were shown as five slots, but the red ones were shown as red, so in total of the 2.1 meter, the 2.5 meter, the 2. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, sorry, 2.1, 2.5, 2.8, and 3.2 meters, they are five slots. The 3 meter, 2.6, and 2.2 meter ones are six slots. Again, why the slight differences, I'm not sure. Because, yeah, the only differences between all of these is the length. All of these have the same configurations. I've gone and tested them all, and they all seem to work fine with no issues whatsoever. So, when we go and do our demonstration, I will go with one. But, anyways, you find these under tools and mowers. So, sort of see here, we got all different mowers in that. So, price ranges from 8.5 grand for the 2.1 meter. Going up to 15 grand for the 3.2 meter one. Weight is a minor factor difference. Maybe that's why the slot count's different. Because you yeah, the heavier ones, even though they don't make sense, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not too sure on that, why the slot count is different and the weight in that. Because yeah, in terms of the, the configurations, now, they all seem to be, be the same. So yeah, starting off with the safeguard, so what this is, it's going to be the three point linkage protector, so you've got cutters or the lower link balls. Again, it's hard to see it here, but I'll show it off in detail once we get back into in-game. And the stickers, one and two, that's going to be on the back of this. And then cover, yes or no. And then cover options, you've got green, red, black and orange. So yeah, the safety cutters and that are these things here, so where I've got the icon there. So yeah, that little thing there, that's all it is to safeguard and that, so... Maybe along with slightly different ones along the way, but... All these perform exactly the same, as I mentioned, different weights and that. Horsepower requirements ranges from... 30... To 80-ish, yeah, 80 horsepower. Because yeah, if we look at 30... 60... 45, 70. So just different models or different variants. Again, I'm not too sure on why there is a difference here because, yeah. Having a look up close, springs and that all seem to be the same. It's got hydraulics, yes. Yeah, so, I 
can. I'm not too sure I'm looking at. Maybe the difference is in the P2 shaft colours. Yeah, so yeah, you got the black and yellow, and then you just got all yellow, so... But yeah, apart from that, I cannot really tell a difference. But anyway, so we will go with the larger one. I'll show off two at least, uh, one with the cover and one without, so... we got the largest one here, so you've got options to fold and unfold. When you fold it, it will raise it like so. And then, yeah, you can't detach it, you need to unfold it, so... That kind of sucks, Nat. But anyways, head to a grass field, no other controls, Nat. Drop you down. And off the way we go. And there we go, we are mowing. I love how it cuts now. Just very simple. Nice sounds now to it. Let's just go and drop this one. And I'll go and grab one of the other kind of model variants. Because yeah, it seems to be the two variant models in that. In terms of the categories and that, again, I'm not sure, but... Anywho, so yeah, I'll grab the 3 meter one since that's a different... ...class in the way, if that makes sense, that for the price ranges. Not so much the price range, the, the horsepower and all that stuff and that, so... Actually, if I go and grab... ...that one, yeah, if I grab the first red one... ...grab the small one... ...you don't see there's a difference in... The engine noise is now with small and big one. Haven't really compared the two yet. Oh yeah, so exactly the same, same noise as I think. And as we'll see how it performs with the cover on. At the end day, all it is just the differences in length and that. Oh yeah, it even says on the mosh switch, the disc come over, so it's version length and that, so that's all it is and that. I don't think there's anything big difference between the lot, between the, the P2 shafts that, maybe. Apart from the P2 shafts, that's the only difference I can find in that. But anyway, so decent quality mod in that, so... Oh yeah, there is a huge variation, as I mentioned, 2.1 to 3.2 meters, a pack of 7, so... There's a particular one you're looking for, for things like... Maybe work in the vineyard and that, do the grass between the vines and that. Or if you've got really tight forestry areas and that, so... Obviously this tractor wouldn't be the more ideal one. You'll use, again, a more suitable size tractor for what you're working with. But anyways, that is the Lizard Opti Cut by Prishmik23433. Next. Now for the C920, this is by FSPT. 6.91 megawatts download, and what this is, it's a milk tanker. So this costs 10,000 and holds 8,000 liters. So you find this under tools, under animals, go towards the end. And there we go, we've got the Herculano brand. I don't think I've seen that brand before, but anyway, so five slots on console goes down to one, weighs 2.4 tons. Apart from license plate, there is no other configurations than that. But yeah, like, first of all, first impressions looking up, it is very detailed now. Things like the pumpers and that, I guess, and the pumper and the cooler, and the cooler for it. I'm guessing that's what it is, what you used to, you know, obviously to pump up and that. Or if it could be pressurisation, pressurising the tank, I'm not too sure in real life how that will work. But anyways, yeah, overall, decent quality in that. So, also does have a linkage on the back, so you can do a tandem of these if you wish. And now, so we'll see how it fills up, so... Let's just drive over to a fill point area, so... There we go, fill up with milk. It's not the fastest of fill up, so it takes a fair few seconds to fill up to the max. Overall, not too bad, does the job in that. I mean, it has got milk in it. It does handle pretty well now, to be fair in that, so... Yeah, it's not flying around, it's not flying all over the place. Like, trying to do donuts and that, or just hot short turns and that. Yeah, not having any significant impact whatsoever for a trainer and that, so... Also, if we look at the weight of this, so... 
Is there a weight to it? So, 8 tonnes? Well, we did look at was it? Wait, 2.4 tonnes was it initially? Animals. Go back to this again. So, yeah, once this fell out, it goes up to 8 tonnes. Even though it sort of seems to be a bit weird because it's got 6,000 litres, the other one had a full 8,000 litres. But, yeah, so, well, it is what it is in that. But, anyways, quick and short, but I think it does what it does on tin. Good quality of detail in that, I do like, it's got the pin hooker attached to a tandem of these if you wish. But anyway, so it's a Herculano C920 by FSPT. Next. Now for the Lizard T4000C fuel tank, this is by GED Modern Arc, 5.4 megabits of download. And what this is, it's a fuel tank and transport trailer, holds 4,000 litres, costs 7.5 grand. And yeah, so it's designed to obviously transport fuel into the field on your farm in that, so... You'll find this under tools and miscellaneous, weighs 5 tonnes, as I mentioned, 4,000 year capacity, weighs 5 tonnes, slot count is 4, goes down to 1, and can only hold diesel. In terms of configuration, it's got wheels and that, so, wheel setup, so you've got standards, twins, a back to standard for continentals, trailer boards, wides and wide 2, so different tyres and that. Terms with decorative fuel tank, yes, or sorry, water tank, yes or no. And main colour, so that would change the main body of it. So let's go with a crimson on that. The water tank colour changes to water tank. The stripe colour changes to stripe on the side. And then brandy cow. Go with a nice hot pink, that would change the lizard brand. So yeah, overall, first impressions, not too bad. Nicely detailed, love the colour configurations as always. So yeah, this is what I got here, Nat. And also, the idea of it is you fill it up and then you transport it to the field. Not the fastest of fill ups, I will admit. But yeah, so you take it to the field, fill up your equipment and... For example, we've got this tractor here, Nat, so... I want to go and fill this up, so how easy is it to fill up? Actually, what? So that's not too bad, not too shabby indeed. But one test I want to do is because I do have this issue with the various other fuel tankers we do have in the FS and that, especially the ones that are designed to be fuel tankers specifically, it's the ability to fill up combine harvesters and that. Also, it does have a pin hook on the attacher on the back, so you can do again. A tandem of these, like similar to the middle tanker we just looked at. So, if I go over here to our placement of our combine that I use to set things up and just things I need to do when setting up, and things like straw that fault straw in the field. So, so you see there on the right, we do need a little bit of fuel. So, yeah, how easy is it to fill up in that? Actually, that is impressive, because usually, with a lot of fuel, fuel tankers I've used on Let's Plays and that, you need to go right up close to it, to the point where you are running over the fuel tanker and that. But this, it seems, has got a large enough trigger on the outside, so the radius of where you need to pull up your equipment ain't stupid, it's like right close to it. Nor is it super far away, it's literally pull up to the side of it, like here, far enough distance away. Especially being flammable now, you don't run this over now and explode it. But anyways, decent quality in that. Yeah, nothing like toolboxes or anything like that. It does look like it has them, but they're just purely decorative in that, but I do appreciate. But yeah, as I mentioned, pin hook on the back. But anyways, that is the Lizard T4000C fuel tank by GD Modern Arc. Nice quality mod, highly recommend it. Next. Now for the FSI ST65T, this is by Owner Emery, 1.17 MB of download, slot count is 3 Google Sound to 1, and what this is, it's a stump grinder net. So, first of all, you'll find this under tools, under forestry equipment, go towards the end, and it costs 5 grand, requires 70 horsepower, and weighs 930 kilograms. As you can see, no configurations, no colour options, or anything of the sort. So yeah, let's go hop into our Massey here, so... 
we'll get you hooked up. And we, get, we do have controls, so you get L1 and right click up and down, does that. And then left to right adjusts the position of said grinder. Then R1, right click up and down, does the pivot on the end. And then yeah, you can adjust the blade in that as you wish. So I'll turn it on. Head to our stump of choosing. Actually, that was pretty good in that. No like tree animation, not tree animation. The, the sound, you know, of the grinding sound that's missing. Yeah, it's got that grinding sound missing. Is it just because of how I got things up here? Oh no, yeah, it was just because of how how I cut those down. That so. For example, let's get a large enough uh, stump here, so a big old stumpy boy here. Chop down this spruce trick so you yeah, don't we'll see how this all looks, so there we go. Now I've got a big enough stump. So yeah, once again, position your tractor accordingly. Positions uh, so and yeah. Gets rid of it, no problems whatsoever. Yeah, sure, prefer you just cut down the tree net or cut the tree up. No, just stump grinding, fair enough. Thought we'll give it a little go that just in case. But yeah, how does this compare to base game that base game wise? The only kind of stump grinds we've got base game is these ones here. Also you got this one here, the Corinna SF9000. That is 27 grand. And even when we get to the platinum expansion, it's not really made cheap grinders than that. So five grand, that is an absolute bargain. And yeah, it weighs 930 kilograms, so you can't do this with a tiny tractor, but decent size enough tractor, or at least a tractor with a counterweight on it. This would be an issue for you, but I do how it all looks in that. Love the look of it. Color configurations, again, that's a desirable thing. It's not always a must. But to be honest, it is kind of red to it. I don't mind to be fair on that. But anyways, good quality sun grinder. And that is the FS ST 65T by Owner Emery. Next. Before we head on to our vehicles, I'm going to go over the buildings. And first of all, we're looking at the old residential building. This is by Razak. 15.66 megabytes to download. And what's this? It's a pack of four residential buildings. Two variants, each with or without a seat trigger in that, so only difference is the variance is the colours of the roof in that by the looks of it. But anyway, so first of all you find this under buildings, under farmhouses. Also, slot count is eight goes down to one. So yeah, just looking at my notes there. But yeah, see so you got the old residential building, and then yeah, you got with or without the seat trigger in that. So yeah, seat trigger ones are just here. Have to go around the back, is there like a wardrobe or anything? Nope, didn't think so. At the end of the day, you don't need a wardrobe in that. Who uses the wardrobe to be fair in that? But yeah, overall, first impressions, not too bad. I think it's something like this does resemble the more Eastern European, kind of Polish kind of vibe, I think. Or at least how it looks to me in that, you know. Also got like the derelict sort of board up window here. Yeah, the board up window section here. Or I'm not also meant to be a sort of placeable or not placeable but like the picture and that for the inside is meant to be here. So, yeah, by the looks of it, it seems a bit odd in that. Right again, that could be just a laid up wall in that, so that's been paved over in that, or a couple of textures now or a couple of details are missing. I'm not too sure, but either way. I don't mind in that. Things like that. Just adds a bit of character to it, you know, things like a board up window in that. Very sick in that, especially here in the UK in that. That kind of like plywood look of it. I'm not sure it's not plywood, it matches the marble base of it. But yeah, a board up window here in the UK is a very common sight, and I'm sure it's going to be common around the world. But, anyways, diversion as always on my mod reviews. This is the old residential building by Razak. Decent quality mods. Here's what it is, and yeah, overall, yeah, not too bad. 
also yeah, costs 200 grand and daily maintenance of 10 so that is a bit steep in that especially just for a decorative item in that but anyways that is your residential building by Razak next going on from something old to something a bit more modern we got the single family house this is by Betonwar Lucas 11.89 megabytes to download Sock count is 15, goes down to 1. And yeah, as said on the mod description, or the mod itself, it's a single family farmhouse in that. So, first of all, you find this under buildings, under farmhouses. 40 grand for a house. Yes, please, in that. But yeah, apart from that, no other changes in that. Seat trigger is just here. Do you love if you've got your decorative items, got your watering cans, an actual tap as well for the outside. Bucket could be moved. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, you got your wardrobe next to your wheelie bins. And yeah, you got your sort of your inner porch area. Yeah, all just decorative now. Not, not can't go in the right thing. If any of these brushes up. Yeah, nope. But yeah, good quality mods. Nice little chimney sack there, two chimneys there. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Good quality mod. But anyway, so that is Single Family House by Betoa Lucas. Next. Sticking with the Polish vibes so far, we've got we've got the Polish house. This is by Quester. 16.37 megabytes to download. Slot count is 33 goes down to 1. Cost 22 grand. Daily maintenance of 10. That says inscription. Old farmhouse, Polish farmhouse in Polish style. So yeah, once again, you'll find this under buildings, under farmhouses, go towards the end. 22 grand, as I mentioned, slot count is 33, goes down to 2. So yeah, starting off with, you've got your wardrobe here at the back. Is that the back or is that the front? Yeah, that's definitely the back, I just got confused here by the number in that. Front porch in that, got your boots, got an oil can in that, so... Go yeet. There it goes. But yeah, this is a lot more better, better detailed building. Especially compared to the other two buildings we looked at. I know the single family house. That could be anywhere, but it does look very Polish when you compare it to the modern name and all that. But yeah, this is very impressive. Like all the detail, the final details. Again, that's why it's a very high slot count for what it is. But anyway, so that is the Polish farmhouse, or Polish house by Quester. Next. Now for the garage, or garage if you are American. This is by mpro-7. And this is the mods for some, or at least appearance on the mod hub. Now, he, has no, uh, he or she has no other previous mod, so... Nice to see a new modder in the game now. But anyways, this is 7.88 megabytes to download. So count is 5, goes down to 1. And at the end of the day, it's a very simple mod, it's a shed, but it's a brick and mortar kind of building, so as you know with me my mod reviews and that, if you are not new to this, you know I do love the brick and mortar buildings and that, and yeah, overall actually looking at it, there is a difference in textures and that, there ain't just a plaster brick and that of the same kind of brick being stacked up over and over again. Also yeah, got the concrete foundation place, but yeah, going in. See so again, concrete plate. Being an old building, yeah, it's gonna have no lights. But as you can see, you can fit tractors now. It says in the description, yeah, old bricks now. Yeah, it's got three doors. I saw your machines, but with this, you can store bells, pallets, or whatever you can fit into the doors. Doors and that. That I do love the animation and sounds. A lovely jubbly. But anyway, so you find this under buildings, under sheds, 25 grand, day maintenance of 10. And yeah, again, to be fair, not bad price, not bad day maintenance. Slot count 5 goes down to 1. For someone's first mod on Farm Sim, I'm not going to complain because that's a better person than I am. But anyway, that is the garage by mpro 7. Next. Moving on to our animal pens, we got first of all the chicken barn. This is by Carl TG. 43.14 megabytes to download. Slot count is 26, goes out to one or two. We'll have a look in a sec. 
But yeah, so this is a old European style chicken coop, holds 14,000 years of wheat. You can have 120 chickens and it only costs 85 grand. And it has two spawn pallet errors for the eggs and that. But yeah, so the eggs and that, these are liftable because I got the liftable pallets mod and that. So don't pay attention to that too much in that. But anyway, so first of all, you'll find this under buildings, no sorry, animals, chickens, and there we go. 85 grand. Yeah, compared to base game that, for what it is, makes it even a bit more steep. And again, there are cheaper ones on a mod hub that has, you know, better capacities than that, better, not, I would say better style than that, say subjective thing, but definitely more chickens available and more terms with capacity for feeding that. But yeah, this is a cracking little mod in that. Also, you get more animations that to the inside of that, so you can actually see inside the chicken coop in that. And yeah, actually for something like this, this is very well detailed in that. Yes, it's going to get glossed over by 90, 90%, 95, 99% of the people. But yeah, things like this, like the details, like got the little eggs in that. So yeah, chickens come up here in that, roost in that, say they were eggs. So yeah, they won't lay their eggs on the ground. And then you know, you as a farmer or grandpa, can come out of here and then, yeah, put your eggs here into the pallets and that. Especially that old weather and texture and that, that I do love. And I'll gloss over and that. The doors are two individual ones. You know, sure we've got a door here. Yes, we have. So you can actually go inside here. Again, spectre chickens and that. But in terms of what it is, so feed input is literally just here. You back it up to roughly where I'm standing in that by the trigger in that. No issues with the trigger I have encountered. But yeah, so two pallet spawn areas. Again, for the size and that, you can't get more of it. So things like, for example, if I had to move them, then oh, yeah, forget about the floaty physics of that. Three years into the game, you still get that with the pallets and that. But yeah, potentially you can get what's that? One, two, three out of squeeze and that. And then going across, you get one, two. And then again, a possible third one. So yeah, you do have space for nine pallets. Still have them very spaced out in that, so... Or at least say six in that. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm just, again, giving some little bit of feedback in that. But anyways, that is the Chicken Barn by Carl TG. Awesome mod, very well detailed. Love the weather and effects as always. Next. For our final place, we've got the cow shed with garage. This is by Sony Zek, 38.71 megabytes to download. And yeah, f first of all, with this, it seems to be a weird thing because yeah, it's one building, but there's two of them. There's two different variants. And yeah, for example, slot counts are different. So this one on the right is 56 slots on console, and this one on the left is 57. So I've done my best to go around in that, and I can't really see a difference now. Things like the brick brick in that, maybe a different kind of shade of the brick in, or was that just with the light in? So yeah, pale, pale and dark, and then yeah, pale and then dark brick in there. So yeah, I'm not sure what the difference is, but there is two buildings, so I'm just going to show you first of all. So you find this under animals and that, so yep. This is the one here I got, so the one on the left is 57 slots, goes down to 2, sorry, 3. And one on the right is 56, goes down to 3, so quite a high slot count to be fair on that. But anyway, so I'm going to treat these as one because I cannot see a difference in the two buildings. Again, if someone would like to point it out to me, then yeah, feel free to let me know because... Yeah, it's having a look. I cannot find a difference in that, so... First of all, now, let's go with terms with what we got here, so... As we mentioned, it's a cow shed with a garage. So your garage area is just over here. You can sort small tractors and that, small bits of equipment maybe. 
and even some bells and that if you want to and that. There is a little makeshift workshop area without a workshop trigger. Then yeah, so yeah, you got your sort of power now on the side of that. Oh no, I just wonder what I was grabbing in though, that's the tools, right? Yeah, able to grab the tools, fair enough. But yeah, there is a light switch just here for your little workshop net. Have a go over here, there's no light trigger for the garage. But yeah, so this area here is going to be where you extract your milk by the icon there. Seems to be a bit high in that. The icon itself is high, obviously, in that. But in terms of able to extract milk, as you may have seen with the C920 I used earlier in the mod reviewed. Yep, no issues whatsoever. You know, pull up to here. Now, for you feeding that, you may have some issues in that because the trigger is anywhere along here. And yes, yeah, so you need to drive straight in with this or reverse straight in with a trigger. So, things like the massive versions I've used in this mod review so far, they will not do. So, you'll need like a small tractor for this. Because, yeah, at the end of the day, it's like for sw small scale farming. Capacity is that for feed and straw is 50,000 litres. In terms with the Surian and all that, so Surian capacity is, I'll say about 50,000 litres and 24, 25,000 25, litres for the milk. Yeah, I'll say 25 more than 24 in that, because yeah, it's close to half, but it does match just the rest in that. And ouch, I actually hit my elbow on my side panel in there as I was stretching, but anyway, so here's your cows. Three or five cows it will hold as I mentioned. Light switch is just here. Again, going up to the lofty space. Can't see a difference. Door to the outside, so you can have like a bell conveyor if you want. And then yeah, sack your bells up here into the loft net. And then if you go across, this is gonna be your street output area just over here on the outside. And on the right hand side you got your dollar box to obviously trigger to get more animals now or at least open the dollar box that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's what it is that. Not too sure why there's two different buildings. Because yeah, you've seen that one. It's got the garages and that, it's got the workshop space and that. Again, like the items are like the items and that around the areas and that. I've Pretty sure they're exactly the same. Yeah, it's the same, exactly the same. Only thing I say in terms with feedback is the ground textures now, because yeah, I get the whole grass texture here on the outside. And yeah, for the workshop bays and that, not too bad. But yeah, it's when you get to here now you see grass on the inside of that. If you, yeah, if that could be avoided, then that would be. So close to perfect in that. Actually, yeah, let's check on this building. So, again, just want to see the ground in that. So, maybe it's a terrain thing in that. Because, so, again, I do have a iffy terrain here on my mod view map. But this one here, so the one on the right, yeah, no issues whatsoever. But, anyways, that is a cow shed with a garage by Shrinizek. And now on to our vehicles. So starting off for our vehicles, we've got the Valtra BM and BH series. This is by Hermson Dentino, ML Modding and Orton Modding. 30.02 megabytes to download and what this is, it's a pack of six different tractors. That's so you can sort of see them got it here represented in different colours. And yeah, all these is just different models. So you got the BH 140s the BM series and then the BM115125 and yeah we've got a respectable cab and no cab version so well that means essentially yeah so we've got the cab windows and that or having an open cab and that so that's all it is in terms with slot counts and that first of all for the BH14 is it is 8 slots for the BM series they are 10 slots and for the BM 115 and 125, so it is 
9 slots for the open cab and then 10 slots for the cab version so no it's not that one here that is the red one I think yeah the BM125 so yeah, yeah these ones here at the end of the day these are all very similar small tractors and that just with differences in the model year of it in real life and that and just in general cab or non-cab versions and how they look in general so starting off with the BH 140s so configurations for these are going to be the same so again I'm just double checking GPS monitor so yeah these are going to be always like the same for configurations what well, is the difference is in the how it looks so I'll go over these in sort briefly but anyway so just for the general configurations first of all we've got the front weight so standard and you can sort of see there if you do add a weight or a front grille you will remove the ability to have a front loader so just be note on that but yeah for front weights you've got 200 kilograms 400 600 and then the front grille for your engine sets for the bh 140s like these so you've got 140 and then the 140 with a CVT transmission. Then you got a chipped version that goes up to 201 version, 201 horsepower, and again with a manual or CVT transmission. War brand. So yeah, got trailer board standard weights, two mirror hub spacing, narrows, rear twins back to standard, Michelin standard wides, wides with weights, and then weights. Then narrows rear twins, two mirrors, hub spacing because yeah things like the two mirror hub spacings and that, that is very common in Brazil and South America in general. Continentals similar in that. Mitas, wides, wides with weights, BKTs but now so we got lizards so this is gonna be a bit interesting because we got obviously standards, rear twins, standard two so just a different kind of tire now I think there you go your rear twins standard three but now so yeah this is where you get some little crazy ones so you got narrows cage wheels the, these ones here these ones I love like the flotation rice tires and that these I do love well they're not flotation tires but yeah, I think I come across these first of all when you had like rice paddies and that, so but yeah, so I think these are like, the LSW brands in real life, but obviously because it's not a game brand, it's branded as a lizard. Fender's got no rear fender, front and rear, front fender or none. Rusa got one, two, and back to one. So there's just different kind of styling. GPS monitor, yes or no. And it's also got one and two and then yeah so if you don't have the front mate or the grill you do have the option for a front loader so got a quickie and haul your front weight and then yeah main color so let's change that to red so that will change the main body and then yeah got rims and that is it cab version is going to be exactly the same for the BM version, so you've got the BM 115 and 125, 135, 135 with a ZV, CVT transmission, then 135 with the chip version, and so that gives us 185 horsepower. And then, yeah, options for just yeah, with without the CVT transmissions, same as that. And then, lastly, for the BM 115 and 125, so you've got 100. 150 horsepower then the 125 with or without the CVT transmissions and then yeah once again the chip versions as you can see here but anyway so let's go over this one here so this is the BM 115 with the front loader so you can sort of see how it performs with the front loader and that you get the aspect of the protective grille almost that so I'll go and detach that a sec so there we go so horn then you got your lights 
definitely the KR or in the KR. There is no beacons with these. No other kind of controls and how they perform that. So yeah, for the 115, the smallest horsepower you can have in the range. What say? Not too bad, not too shabby in that. Does feel a bit um heavy in terms of steering in that. But yeah, I got the 125 CVT and chip version. So yeah, because that is the manual version, so that's got all the gears and that. And then the CVT is just basically the automatic gearbox. That's what it is. So if you want to do with gears and that, you get bogged down in that, then yeah, just have this with the... Or anything with the CVT transmission and that. That's what it means. Constant, is it constant velocity, velocity transmission or something like that, or... Yeah, something on the lines of that, but overall, not too bad. And then we'll head into the BH series. Yeah, horns and that are the same as that, by the looks of it. That, I do love. I do love the sound of it shifting up and that. But yeah, that, I do love and that. But anyways... Aside from that, these are just, yeah, old model Valtras series tractors that very commonly used in South American region and that. But me, so that is the Valtra BM and BH series by Hermerson, Dentin, oh sorry, Dentin Ho, ML Modding and Ortin Modding. Next. Now for something a bit different, but also not very different compared to what we have on the Mod Hub and that. We've got the Raxor 6300. Blackhawk, this is by Captain G or CPTG, 30.78 MHz download, stock count is 40 goose out to 1. And what is it? It's a groovy version of the Beat Harvester Nat, or this is a Raxor version of the Groomy Beat Harvester Nat. But yeah, so you can tell it is pimped up now, especially with the delivery that the Groomy X and that, all lovely Nat. Different tires than that, so. Also, we'll go over that in a sec. But yeah, so you got a normal version, or you got a sort of kind of turbocharged version. So, first of all, you'll find this under vehicles, under beat technology. Go towards the end, so yeah. Here we are, we've got the Grimmy RX, or also Rexer 6300 Black Hawk. That is a very similar to the Rexer 6300 Platinum. It's just a bespoke edition, the Black Hawk edition, so that's what it is. So you got 2015s, and so yeah, so 2015 and inclusive version, the Rose Show 2021. And yeah, something like this is very commonly in the Dorb Resident, or sorry, Dorb, Dorbra Zedin, so D O B R Z N, in Poland, and that. But yeah, so rubber brands and that, so you've got Trailer Borg standards, Continental standards, Mitas standard with the Agri Terras, BKT standard or the Earth Maxes, Versteins standard, Traction 10, 10, V1050, Flotation tracks or Max standard, Nukins, Ground or Forest King, but yeah, missions and that, so yeah, you've got the Black Hole 2015 or standard. And then, yeah, the model type itself got the Rexor 6300 Blackhawk or just a normal 6300. So, in terms of the differences, just the Blackhawk or. So, yeah, you got your normal version, the 6300, so yeah, that's just standard. And then the Rose Show 2021 version, so that's just a difference in the. In terms of deliveries, I don't see anything difference in capacities or anything like that. At the moment, harvester width got no four meters, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or back to none. If you're looking at the base game, that is so. What I'm saying again, I'm not too sure on the harvester width, doesn't say that weirdly. So, 
maybe four meters as standard or doesn't harvest at all. But yeah, I'm not too sure, but yeah, we're going to have a look at that. But then, yeah, go from there, we've got the real dash, or sorry, the real dash, so yeah, no or yes. So that's going to be all in the cabinet, so we'll have a look at that. CB radio, yes or no. GPS, yes or no. Capacity, this is where it gets interesting. So you got your realistic 45,000 litres, or your short semi, maybe unrealistic, um, 145,000 litres. So that does jump up the price by another 75 grand. And yeah, especially go with the, you know, Black Hawks and that, the like deliveries and that. That is just pure craziness, and that. And then main colour, you got the Grimmy Red or the Black uh, Black Hawk Edition. And then your rims, that, chromes, whites, and that, stainless steel. Or, sorry, grey, not whites, but anyway, so. I've got the two versions here, so. I'm pretty sure this is the kitted out version. So, you got your normal steering modes, and that. Also, you do have a variety of control groups net so let's go into the cab so R1, sorry, L1 right stick up and down does the door and then right does that door there on the right then, yeah, so you got your mirrors so L1 right stick left to right does that mirror and then right stick up and down does that one L1 R1 is nothing Interior, L1. Right stick, left to right. Again, try and look, see if it's doing anything. And all right, yeah, there it goes, the headrest there. Fair enough. L1, R1. Right stick, up and down. Does the arm there, fair enough. And R1, right stick, up and down. Cannot see what that is doing. And there we go. Raise and there the passenger seat. Fair enough. Then get that or that. So that's going to be L1. Right stick up and down. Folds and also raises and there's the ladder. Then you got your steering wheel. So L1. Right stick left to right. Or sorry, up and down does that. And then left to right. Yeah, because, yeah, going up and down. Then for your steering wheel, it's L1, right stick left to right, does that. Then L1, R1, R1's nothing. Then you've got your curtains and that, so that's going to be in the cap, so... R1, right stick up and down, does that. L1, R1... Does... Which one does it do? Because, yeah. Again, cannot find anything for that one. So yeah, not too sure on that. But also, yeah, did notice that you've got a nice little camera angle there. But back to the interior. And yeah, you've got your doors and that, so... Weird to do that, you've got a... We hear his camera there at the rear. Interestingly, fair enough. But anyway, so yeah, as I mentioned, I've got the two different versions here, so... Nor how it may look in that, so... In terms of working speed, these are all 6 miles an hour. So yeah, I want all wheel steering, please. And there we go. Are we harvesting the right crop? No, we're not. I think that is potatoes. Should be is here. Ah, right. So the harvester whip is literally. As you expect, how wide it harvests. Oh, fair enough. Not too bad, not too shabby. But then, yeah, I got the one that says the harvester width is none. So, does this not harvest at all, or does it do what? Because, <laughs> yeah, if it's just like a shoe piece and that, then yeah, it'd be a very expensive. Yeah, very expensive because this costs a base price of 400 grand. So, now I'm harvesting that. 
head into the field, so ah, fair enough, yeah. So if you have it as no, that just means there's no extended working bit of how much you're harvesting, so not fair enough, I can respect that and that. So you head out of here back onto our plateau over here. So yeah, overall it's basically a more, slightly modified version of the base game Grimmy Raxor 6300, but just with the Blackhawk edition, so different kind of deliveries, different uh, tires and that. Also the CB radio on here was by Sid Modin. And yeah, fuel tank and that is adjustable up to 2300 litres. And death tank is 193 litres, top speed it's 40 yeah, 40 miles, sorry, 40 kilometers or 10 kilometers per hour when you're working in that. But anyways, also a little bit of kit, I do recommend this one, but anyways, that is the Raxor 6300 Black Hawk by Captain G. Next. Now for the MAN TGX 26.580, this is by Gent M. 26.2 megabytes of download, slot count is... Eighteen goes down to one, and what we've got here is just basically it's one lorry in that, but has three different variants. So difference in capacities and what it can hold in that. So first of all, you find these under vehicles and lorries, and there we go, 150 grand. Engine is 508 horsepower, holds 49 liters of fuel, top speed of 49 miles an hour. Capacity is 11 to 26,000 litres, weighs 9.7 tonnes, as I mentioned, slot count is 18, goes down to 1, and it can hold pretty much anything depending on what configuration you're going with. So what I mean, mean is by the first order configuration, so start off we've got the hydraulic hatch, so that holds 11,000 litres, and if you just add a door onto the back, that gets you additional 4,000 litres. And then yeah, you've got the green add-on, so that will bring up to 26,000 litres. Or you can have the sage add-on, which is same, 60,000 litres, oh sorry, 26,000 litres. And what that means is the green and sage add-on, so that means sage add-on means you can do TMR, chaff, straw, and just basic things like that. And then the green is just the green body in that. But yeah, if you want to have a mixture of that, then yeah, go with the big door or the hydraulic hatch. Well, Brand's got the Continental Standard, Standard 2, Wides, back to Standard. Trailer Borg, Standard, Wides, back to Standard. BKT is Wides. Lizard's got the road tyres, so let's go back to Standard. And then back to Continentals. Beacon Light's got none. The rotor bar, the light bar, or none. A bull bar. No or yes, top ball bar or both, ball bar with extra lights or top bar with extra lights or both with extra lights. The strobe lights got front, strobe lights at the back, and then you can have both. And then working lights, no back, sides or both. Yeah, actually, I cannot see a difference in that. But anyway, so side marks, no or yes. So again, can I see a difference? Just might be, again, on sides, marks on sides and that. Ah oh, yeah, it's a little reflective LED strips there, fair enough. Anyways, accessories, got all of the accessories. No accessories, or individually you got the air horns, sunscreen, man light, air horn with sunscreen, air horn with lights, sunscreen with lights, or just all of them together in that. Fenders, you got none. Chrome fenders, plastic fenders, or none. And then you have four your colours in that, so main colour is going to be your cab. Design colour is going to be the tipper in that. And then rims, it's going to be the rims, but yeah, so defenders and that, they do change with whatever colour you're going with, so that is what is we want to stick with. For me, I'll go with none or the chrome that matches the rest of the body in that. But anyway, so 
here are, I've got the just the normal version so you can unload as you can see just tips back I do like how it disperses in that that I do like in that decent discharge rate and then yeah for the sludge add-on so yeah let's get stuff this a sec so I'll show you what I mean Go. Just dump it like so. Fruit is coming out a bit of a steamy in that, but anywho, in that so go to your fill up in that. So if you have a look, so TMR, chaff, grass, silage, hay, straw, and back to TMR now. So that's what it means by the limited add on that. But yeah, if I go with the yeah, this is the basic one I got here. So, horn, lights, indicators. Also, yeah, you do have the trail hitch, or oh, sorry, trailer hitch on the back. And if I go back to this one here, this is one I got fully kitted out. So you got all the little extra lights and that. That I do like, especially the man they go on the inside of the cab. Ah, may I, maybe the side mark lights and that's what may may be mean then. So do apologise for missing that bit. But yeah, so in terms of how it looks, that performs really well. I and day, it's a very simple man trader in that. Steering turns on the dime as you expect. But yeah, with that trailer hitch on the back, you can get it, get very creative with this. But yeah, so everything like this, even though it's left and dry, so not right and dry for the UK roads and that. Something like this would be good on the UK maps and that. But anyways, pull over and that. Anyways, that is the Man TGX 26.5 AT by Gents M. Next. Now on to one of our two new New Holland Combine Horizon mods. And yeah, so we're looking at the first of all, the New Holland CX7 and 8, 2001 to 2008. This is by Captain or CPTG. First of all, it is 63.31 megabytes to download. Terms with slot count, it is 43 for the harvester, 11 slots for the grain header on the right, and then for the corn header, big one on the left, that is 10. Header traders is interesting because one of these is five slots. The other one I'm not sure because it is missing. So I'll explain what I mean by one of the header traders is missing because you can't get it by using the configurations, or well, not the configurations, are the, what it combines with and that. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'll go over that in a sec. So first of all, going over the this one here. So yeah, it turns with your configurations. That so you got seven thousand six hundred capacity, eight thousand, ten and a half thousand, nine thousand six hundred, six hundred, and back to seven thousand and six hundred. Engine setup. So you got the CX seven twenty, seven forty, seven sixty, seven eighty. And up to the 820, 840, 860, and then the 880. So yeah, it's all just different horsepowers and that. And 780 and 820 is just different models and that. But yeah, so they do change the delivery on the side as well, just so you know. Then Will Brand's got Mission, Standard, Wide, Transport Wheels, Twin Wheels, and back to Standard. Trailer Borg, Standard, Wide, Transport, Twins, Continentals, the same, Mitas, and these ones are exactly the same, BKT, Sander, Transport, Snat, then GPS got no or yes, so just as a GPS model hub, got the new Holland version, and you have the one that goes onto the tank, and depending on what size of tank you go with, that will reflect so. Got 11,600, so if I go with that one and then back up to here. See, I'm not sure where it goes, is on the inside or what. 
Anyways, new Holland logo, yes or no? So you've got one and two, and that's all it is, just a new Holland logo there at the front. Warren signs, no or yes. So you've got Warren triangles, Warren signs of the triangles, or none. So you've got Warren signs there at the front. Now for the short spreaders system, so you've got your no standard six meter spread. Seven, eight, nine, ten meter spreads. Then the flag, so this would be on the uh what's it the boom piping piping that. <laughs> Try to figure out the name of it. So you got Poland, Germany, Great Britain, Brazil, France, USA or none. Airhorn package, yes or no. So it is the as in the horn of the actual combine in that. CB radio, yes or no. So that'd be in the cab somewhere. Like so on that right hand side. Tray hitch at the back, so you got no. Medium size or long size. Then you've got your pipe. St small, standard, like so. And then the tank plate, so you've got new horn yellow or black. So yeah, I was looking at this earlier on and I'm not sure what it's trying to change. Is it anything on the top? Nope. Is it something to do with the... Ah, wait a minute, maybe those and that, so... Ah, right, see, so yeah, it's a tank flaps there on the back, fair enough. Bit of an odd one, but then yeah, you got room colours. So you got your white or New Holland yellow. And that is it. So yeah, if you want to press R3 what is combinations. So obviously, yeah, we've got two header trailers, so the 60, 30 and 70, 30. So 60, 30 will go with the green header and 70, 30 will go with the corn header. However, Go into your header traders, and if we go across, see you got the 7030 over there, and that is it. No 6030 or anything like that. First of all, full low loaders, nope. Miscellaneous, um, that is a negative on that. See, so yeah, I was like looking like all over the place earlier on. I can't find it. Now if I go to my mods and that, so I go down to my mods. So yeah, the CX7 and 8. Whatever it's to do with... Now, oh, would be a conflict with that because I doesn't have a header trader. But yeah, if I click on that mod, yeah, got the 7030. But the 6030 is nowhere to appear in that, so... Bit of a weird bug in that, I'm not sure if it's something to do with me or what. Anyways, so in the combine VR, once again, you, because like with the Rex was one we looked at earlier in that, so you do have the option for a rear camera in that, so that's actually I do like, especially when you're on like UK maps and that. Things like a court farm that, that tight shed on the main farm and that, that where I've been to in real life. In real life that is a tight area in that for a large combine like this, so... Having that rear camera is nice. Also, like the Rexalus, you do have a lot of configurations in terms of the control groups. So yeah, you've got your doors and that. So yeah, I'm going to show you these as always, just in case if you skip this and not seen the Rexalus one. So yeah, mirrors and that, L1 and that. I'm sorry, I didn't... nope, not that. So yeah, L1, right stick up and down does that. And then right stick up and down does that mirror there, as far as a bit rushing there slightly. Then you've got your interior now, so look back to your interior. L1, R1, right stick does that with the R1 air. And then right stick does that, so you can fold the chair up. Then exterior now, so if go outside. So L1, right stick up and down does the flap there on the back. L1, R1, 
left stick does that, up left to right. Then right stick, left to right does the ladders and that. And then R1, right stick, up and down does that, so you can have these extending. So yeah, then you can go, you know, inspect your combine and that. All the colors of gubbins and that, all the belts and that. Then you go to your steering wheel, so back into the cab, L1, right stick, left to right, adjust the position of the steering. Go out, right this side, unlike where the Rex was. And then current, so yeah, L1, nothing, L1, R1, right stick up and down, should do, yeah, does the left one. Then right stick, right does that. And then right stick up and down does that. So you can proper bring down the shades and that. And then the warning sign, so this is going to be at the rear. R1, right stick left to right does that. And right stick up and down does that. So you can fold that up again to park or just reverse in general. So in terms with the head of trailers themselves, so the one that's missing is missing a configuration. Or at least an option because if I go to our corn. No, was it the corn one? Um, maybe this one here, because one of these had an option to snap on via attaching it, so. There we go. So, yeah, this one here, so when you attach the grain header, you've got an option to, you know attach it to the actual header onto the trailer net. Now when you're looking at, oh, again, the control groups now, they can get annoying at times, especially when there's eight different control groups, but it is what it is in that. But with this one, it seems to just go, it's go on and sticks on. So yeah, once again, you can attach the, ooh, there we go, attach so. But yeah, so no option to, yeah, in terms of you new know, sapping on that, so that's, I'm not too sure. But anyway, so we head to the field, and see how this performs. So there we go, after a bit of trundling along, so yeah, I brought this to this big cornfield over here. So we drop down the header, and just see how it performs in general on that, so top speed or the working speed is 6 miles an hour and then, yeah just checking the show net you see he's doing a good job with the corn in general he's harvesting it very well to go in like especially the animations and that then, yeah, so you can have your pipe out so yeah then we can just go unload like so yeah, just drop the corner as we're going along. Anyway, it's following that back up. Overall, does a good job. That performs as it says on the tin net. And now to quickly shift on to the green header, because yeah, I want to test the green header net. Make sure that all works very well. Now with the green header net. So yeah, once again, just want to test that, make sure everything is performing as it should. And yep, yeah, it is performing very well. I do have the large straw distributor net. And yeah, I'm not sure if that's doing differences at the rear at least. Maybe when it's not able to, you know, get straw that, it's maybe spreading out a lot further than that. I'm not sure on that. I think something like this to do with the PC mod of where, you know, you can sort of use the straw essentially, like, rather than chopping it up in that. You can sort of spread it out as like a fertilizer net or something like that to fertilize the field, but I think that's more of a PC thing than the console net. But yeah, it does the job in that. But yeah, overall, good quality mod net. Can't fault it whatsoever in that. Just besides the weird, you know, missing, oh, what was it, the head tray net for the. Uh, I think it's the corn header net. The smallest one of the two net. Yeah, the green header. So yeah, don't know why that's missing. Add the header trailers and that. Oh anyway, I can find it. It's why I go combinations for the combine or the header trailer, or sorry, the 
normal green hair and that, so it is what it is with that. But anyways, that is the New Holland's CX-7 and 8, 2001 to 2008 by Captain G. Next. For our second to last mod, we got the New Holland CX, also by Captain G or CPTG. This is 65.86 megabytes to download. In terms with slot counts, it is 49 slots for the combine, 13 slots for the header net, and 8 slots for the corn header net. So unlike the one we just looked at, also by the same modern net. The cord header is smaller than that, different kind of year, so rather than the other one being 2001 to 2000, uh, was it 2001 to 2006, this one is primarily just from 2001 by the looks of it. Also, actually no, sorry, correction, it is the modern version, so it's 2016 to 2024, so the one we just looked at was the early 2000s, this is the mid 2010s to 2024, so to get that correct there, sorry. But anyway, so first of all, you find this under vehicles, harvesters, and that for the combine itself. And then, yeah, the headers, respectively, and that will find it under corn and corn headers and just normal headers, and that. So for the corn, sorry, for the corn header itself, it's six meters at six miles an hour, and for the grain header, it's twelve meters at six miles an hour. So you can see a difference between this one and the other CX seven and eight we looked at just now. But yeah, so unlike with the other one, this is just the CX-8 series, so got the 8.7 from 2016 to 2019, the 870 for 2020 to 2023, and the 870 for 2024, and then you get the CX-880s, and that, the 885s, and 8.9. Also, yeah, you do have the black design version, so these do look very nice. And also, yeah, you got the 20th anniversary versions. And then, yeah, back to that. So, configurations got 9,500, then 1,000, 13,500. And then, yeah, for that one, it has an extension of a 18,500 unrealistic capacity. Wheel brands, mission, standard, standard tool, white, transports, twins, trailboards, twins, transport, as so. Cottonettles, same, Mitas, Twins, Transport, Wides and that, BKTs, Transports, Doubles, Wides, but yeah, now we've gone to New Holland, you've got Crawl Track, Crawl Track 2, so that is changing the wheel at the back, Crawl Track 3, Crawl Track 4, Wides Crawlers, and then yeah, same for the wheels then the back. And then yeah, back to just your normal core track. So or do you prefer the wide version? Also you got a real dashboard, no or yes. A GPS system, no, New Holland, Green Star six thousand, the New Holland GS with the with sorry, on the nine half thousand year tank. And then yeah, you get the one that goes on top of that one there, on top of the additional tank. And then you got the Starfire 10,000, so all it is is just an aesthetic piece, doesn't really do anything in the game wise, at least for consoles and that. Extras and that, so you got none. Warning signs at the back. Sorry, I thought it was at the back, it's not at the front. Oh no, yeah, it's on the front there, so. There we go. Then you got the warm triangle, so that is at the back. And then you got a mixture of both. Air horn package, so that's just the horn itself. The air horn with the triangle at the back, and then air horn with everything. And then none. So now for the short distributor, so you got 6 meters. And it goes up incrementally up to 40 meters at the back. Decals got no, or crossover harvester. Tiger decals. Ah, so yeah, Coral Slivers there. Tigers. Puma. Tiger decals 2 or none. Design decals. Got the 20th anniversary or none. Design lights. Yes or no. They I do like. Then pipe. Got the long flex. Short flex. Standard long. 
and standard shorts or just standard. Main color, got New Holland, New Holland 2024, and in 2024 too. That I do not like. That kind of like beige, not beige pink, like dull pink. And that I'm not sure, but whatever it is, it's absolutely ugly. New Holland black, and then New Holland white. Room decals got white, grey, or black. But yeah, so let's go and see how these perform. So I've got two versions of these and that. So, but yeah, so we've looked at the. Pretty sure we looked at the pipes now, have we? But yeah, so all it is just so you can adjust the. Oh, sorry, hand looked at the pipes now. So that is L1, right stick, left to right does that. Oh, sorry, up and down does that. Left to right, I'm not sure. And then L1, R1, left stick does that. But yeah, so anyway, so hop into Phil. Sorry about that hat sort of quietness there. Just like looking at my notes now, because yeah, I did try to test everything beforehand. But so yeah, again with the doors and that, so if you have not seen the other one, I looked at just now, so R1, so going to cab boss in here, so R1, right stick up and down does that. And then, yeah, try to think of what to do on that door. Not too sure now, because, yeah, I'm getting S1. So that would be an L1, sorry, L1, right stick, left to right, but because i got the side panel, that's not working. But, yeah, got your mirrors and that. Bring them in and out, like so. Oh, you can't see that one, because i got the curtains down. But, yeah, let's pull out of here a sec. Because, yeah, I get confused with the other new Honda I just looked at. So, we'll go over the interior. Once again, right stick up and down does that. L1. Yeah, try to figure out what, that's, what does that do. Cannot figure out for that one. Exterior that, so you can have all the, the cab and that open that. So, I'm going to go over that again. Steer mill. Simple, bring it forward or back. So L1 again. It's meant to be L1, right stick, left to right. But for whatever reason, with this one, it's having a weird binding issue with my side panel. That so that would be L1 and right stick, left to right. Maybe if I reset it, may do it, but I'm not going to do that. So curtains. So L1, R1, right stick, up and down. Does the left side, and then R1 right stick left to right does the right hand side, and then up and down does do some of the ones. Warning, so that's just the warning signs on the back. So like so, bring them in, like so, just to make it easier to park up. And then yeah, the pipe we just looked at. So and that is that one. But yeah, now because we've got a bigger header net. So yeah, do you have L1 right stick up and down? That can adjust the bits on the header. And then it's meant to be L1, R1 up and down, but for a reason... Helicopter once again, but yeah, it's meant to be L1 up and down, I think. But again, binding issues, I'm having issues now, that, so... So yeah, L1, left stick right to right brings it in and out, so that is not an issue. But yeah, up and down, it's meant to be this. So, there we go. Raise and lower that. But, again, for whatever reason, I'm having issues with the key bindings and that. But, anyway, so, I'm not harvesting the corner of this. But, yeah, top speed is 18, 19 miles an hour. So, Shrewsworth, yes, please. So, let's get rid of that. And, there we go. We're harvesting at 6 miles an hour. There we get a shrew. If I turn shrew swap on off and that, so ah, I think that's what is there. That that see that this bit here on the ground. 
think that's the distributor now, like how much that distributes now, because you can use that as like a fertilizer on PC, that's what I was on about earlier and that, but yeah, obviously on console it doesn't really do a difference, so the shorter distributor on console at least is, yeah, doesn't really make a difference in that. It depends on what you want to do with it. And it says here, it says short, short distribution has a, is affected according to the header now, so maybe because of the actual header we're using, because Five percent do that, and then sort of adjust it. If we're not getting a bigger, I don't think we're getting a bigger width. I'm just I'm on a piss angle at two point four degrees. So, but yeah, overall that good quality more than that. I love the animations and that. So that's one I do recommend. This one, and the other new one, I do recommend it. Again, have to toggle through. Seven, eight different control groups may be annoying, but yeah, that may be in at the end of the day, that may be a you thing, depends on what you prefer. That, but with this, just the CX version, the modern version, at least for me, I'm having issues with it binding to my side panel, which I don't really use that often. That I may use it for you know, pressing buttons here and there, skip time and that, like so. That for example, that turns back up to times one speed, but. Aside from that, I didn't use the side panel, so it's having an issue of binding to the side panel. Yeah, it's more of a moyen thing than that, but anyways. Overall, I need a good quality mod. Now it's a new Hon CX by Captain or CPTG. Next. On to our final model of the day, we've got the Case IH 1660 Axle Flow, this is by Owner Emery. 12.58 megabits to download. Slot count is. 11 goes down to 1, and what it is is basically it's an old style combine harvester with some unique things, so things like crawl tracks as well as a unrealistic capacity in that, so yeah, so you'll find this under harvesters in that, go towards the end, so 145 grand initially, and it has 455 horsepower, 350 litres of fuel, Speed of 12 miles an hour, and yeah, capacity is 6,340, or if you go unrealistic, 15,000. Weighs 8.3 tons, and yeah, as I mentioned, slot count is 11, goes down to a 1. So yeah, engine setup, so you've got your 1660, 109 horsepower, or the unrealistic engine. That goes up to 455 horsepower, so you can use that to get away with a lot of things. But it doesn't change the top speed in that, as 10 grand to the price net. We'll set up, you've got standard or your crawl tracks, and that is it. Reflectors, no. Yellow reflectors, so that's going to be at the back. Or re red reflectors. And uh, sorry if you hear my dog uh, kicking off there. But yeah, in terms of colours, you've got your basic, basic colour palette, then you've got standard red, and that is it. So. Dig it with a white version for another model net, so we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, capacity 6,340 or again the unrealistic one. So, in terms with how this will match with the headers and that, so around the three to five, six meter headers would do it just fine normally. However, if you got the unrealistic version, I've got something set up over there in the back, you may have just seen there, so yeah, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so in the cabinet, there's not much to say about it. So yeah, you can unfold and unfold the combine like so. That is it. So actually it's 40 miles an hour, not 12 miles an hour. Maybe that's because of the engine that. Oh no. So in game it's saying it's wrong in that, fair enough. But yeah, so. Just looking at the engine revs now again, because of yeah, the revs is exactly the same now. Because yeah, it's just the same now. It's just the amount of horsepower you're able to use now when doing using it for equipment. There is some weird clipping with the crawl tracks through the grounds. I'm not too sure why that is, but I know crawl tracks in general has been an infamous thing since FS19 in that. So let alone FS22. So things like that, I'm not too worried about. 
doesn't really affect the steering rat. Yeah, it's obviously uh, overall not too bad in that. If I tab around far enough, I'll go to the one I actually want. And this is what I've got set up here, the unrealistic one, with a header in that, so I've got the... Okay, we need to unfold the harvester. And yeah, I think this one has got the like unlimited top speed in that. But yeah, he used something like this to have like a Frankenstein setup in that. Have a old, you know, new hold in that. Yeah, a bit of a skunk works, maybe. I mean, yeah, get maybe a skunk work engine that. Keep the capacity to the same in that. Just, you know, go with a stupid header in that. But yeah, you will have an issue with emptying that because, yeah, the point is designed for like a 6 meter header in that, not a 13 meter header in that. So, again, just a bit of a word of warning, but, of course, he is performing well. Yeah, okay, steering that is a bit loose, a little bit in that, but it is what it is in that, but only an 8 does the job in that, so you can get really creative with this. And yeah, so rather than you know, have a brand new combine in that, like we have very often in this game that, that has all the under 6 stuff in that, you can stick to something like this, and yeah, have that old school look, but have the functionality of something under the 6 in that. But again, just a little thing I thought to mention that, so go detach that. And overall, that is all for our new mods for today. This is a nice combination of <laughs> new mods and that. So yeah, we've got brand new harvesters and that, nice tractors and that, some old school buildings and that. But yeah, I think in like, the mod of the day, to be fair, there's like, nothing that's really been a standout single good mod and that. Personally, I like this snap just because it's an old style case harvester with the core track snap. Yeah, despite it phasing through the ground. If I had to pick the, the model of the day, I'll pick this, but overall, it's been a good selection of mods and that. Nothing, I'll say, there's been no major issues with any mods and that. Things like, yeah, it's rooster max and that. I may have slightly messed up there a little bit with getting things set up and that. But yeah, all good quality mods and that, as always, I appreciate all the mods and that in this game and that. But yeah, so anyway, so that's going to wrap it up today. That's all the new mods for the 17th of October 2024. But anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and affordable in some way, shape or form, if so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me, former Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.